Hello, this is Tim with Budget Aster Photography. I'd like to show you guys a scope that I got that I think will add to the arsenal of people that's looking to get into this hobby without spending thousands of dollars. This telescope is a Skywatcher's 130 PDS. It seems like to be a very good telescope. I kind of give you some specs on it. Of course, the aperture is 130 millimeters. It is an F5. Has a 650 millimeter focal length to it, which is excellent for nebulas like M42, um, M13, uh, even some galaxy work. Uh, it's got a wide enough field of view on it that you won't get yourself lost. Plus, it ain't so narrow that you have to have a guide scope. And that's important if you're getting into astrophotography on a budget. What I like about this scope is, is you're getting a lot of value that you can only find on higher end scopes. You get real rings on this scope. Not none of them just clamp on with a screw on the side of it that you can't do nothing with. These are real rings. Adjustable, easy to loose. So that's pretty cool. Also on the rings, we have another bracket at the top that you can put a guide scope on it later on as your hobby progresses. On the bottom, you got your dovetail bracket, which is a Skywatcher's green, which is pretty nice. Also on this unit, you'll have a two inch Crawford focuser. It's a dual speed focuser, which is super cool because you can get that fine adjustment on it. It's a two inch, so you can use your two inch adapters or you can reduce it down and use the inch and quarter adapters. The scope itself is very light. There's the front end of it. There's the back end of it. So it's got its advantages there. If you want to travel carry it with you, it's not a big deal. A big bulky scope, on the other hand, you have to do a lot of planning to carry it around. The things that come with this scope of course, you got your viewfinder bracket. You got your viewfinder stand. It comes with a viewfinder scope. It comes with a two inch by inch and a quarter adapter, which just allows you to put your inch and a quarter out pieces or your Canon T ring if it's inch and quarter two, you can use your DLSR. It also comes with another adapter. It looks like it's got M42 threads, and I wonder if it's sure what it looks like. I can see this being used as an advantage on a CCD camera uh, if you want to use that too. Something like a, a Zoe or an Orion or even a Celestron CCD camera probably work on that. The coolest thing I like about this telescope is it comes with a massive 2 inch. 28 millimeter eyepiece. Look at that thing. It's focused. Adjusted here at the eyepiece. Plus it's got this very padded center, which is easy for your eye. That is pretty sharp. Because of that itself. The telescope itself. I've seen some reviews on the telescope. It's, it's got excellent reviews. Um, it's, I think it's very, very budget minded to get into this hobby. And as you progress, you can add more things to it. Uh, but the biggest advantage I think of this telescope is you can use it with basically any type of mount you got. It's not so cumbersome that it's weighing down the mount and the wind's kicking it around. A CG4 mount, Skyview Pro mount, there's somewhere in between there you can use this on. It's just super, super nice. The quality of the scope, I would give it probably a 9 out of 10. Of course, I'd expect that from Skywalker's brand anyway. They usually build really nice stuff. As far as I can tell, this is going to be a game changer for everyone that wants to get into astrophotography on a budget. You're getting a lot of quality stuff, a lot of things you need.
for an excellent price. This thing's probably around about 300 bucks. Um, so it's an excellent choice, I think, for those who want to get started. I will post some uh, some pictures of what this scope has done. Uh, I think you'd be really impressed. So remember, it's a Skywatcher, it's 130 PDS, 130 aperture, F5, 650 megalometer focal length. Thank you for watching.